Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Gears of War video. Now, I'm not going to have an intro because I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Now, mouse and keyboard versus controller. Now, if you guys didn't know, I started with controller back in Xbox 360 days of Gears of War, the original. And obviously you couldn't play mouse and keyboard back then. And then I kind of just got, I just got really into the PC scene, so I started using mouse and keyboard with anything. Gears of War 4 was on PC, so I started playing mouse and keyboard on that. And then I just been playing on mouse and keyboard since then. But just recently, I actually picked up my old scuff controller, plugged it into my PC, and started playing Gears of War on the PC with my scuff controller. And I just got to say, guys, that it feels great. I mean, it feels absolutely amazing. You'll be surprised how big movement is in Gears of War. You know, at first, you know, a lot of people look at, oh, yeah, well, it's all about your aim. And if your aim is on point and mouse is better at aiming and mouse is better at aiming, you're going to hear that all the time. You're going to hear when people say, oh, we console players don't want to go against PC players because their aim is godly, blah, blah, blah. Movement is a huge part of Gears of War, guys. So make sure you understand that. That yes, um, it. I gotta say it. Mouse is a million times better in aiming than it comes to um, controller. But if your moves are on point, it's not gonna matter anyways. It really isn't. Now, when it comes to people getting behind you and flanking you, and you know, oh yeah, when I try to turn around with my controller, it's super slow, whereas in the mouse, I could just flick my wrist and I turn around. Um, very few times you're not, it's very few times that you're gonna not notice people running up behind you in gears. Uh, opponents are really loud, and the game's not really meant to be played super sneaky like that. And even in Gears 5, they said in Gears 5, the footsteps are even louder, so I highly doubt you're gonna need to completely turn yourself around. Now there is a couple techniques that you can do, like if you stray forward and then you hold your thumbstick, like if you roadie run forward and you hold your thumbstick uh, back, your character will actually do a full uh, spin. He'll spin completely around as soon as you um, exit that strafe. And if you intertwine movements like that into your controller, then you won't have to worry about doing trying to do 360 or 180 snaps on your mouse than uh, doing it on controller. So. What do I personally use? I personally use controller. Do I think any one of them is better than the other? No. Now let's answer a few questions here. Guys, in Gears of War 4 has the same rules as Gears of War 5, except there's a little bit of a difference. In social quick play and matchmaking core playlists, the weapon tuning is different from the competitive side. In Gears 5, there's gonna be weapon tuning is gonna be the same across the board. Now here's one little big thing though. In the core playlist and in the social quick play, there is aim assist. Whereas in the competitive playlist, there is no aim assist. So do yourselves a favor, guys. Go to the competitive mode and start playing in the competitive warm-up. Um, and just feel out the controller, feel out the mouse and keyboard, and see which one's for you. They said that they're going to be supporting both sides, mouse and keyboard and controller, for Gears 5. So I hope, with that, I hope when they said that, I hope that means... That, you know, if you are an Xbox player and you want to try mouse and keyboard, hopefully you can just plug up a mouse and a keyboard and play with those so you can check it out for yourself. Um, do I think there's a huge advantage? Not really. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. You know, if you have a, a good player and they're on mouse and keyboard and they know how to start doing those moves and they have that aim with that mouse, it's going to be pretty deadly. But, guys, go with what you're comfortable with. Me, personally, I, I would have to say... I think the controller is really the way to go. I think movement is a huge part of Gears, and I do not regret uh, swapping over to the controller. Now, don't get me wrong. If the competitive scene starts opening up to mouse and keyboard, then I might give it a whirl again because, you know, I've been playing on mouse and keyboard for the past four years now, so it's like, yeah, it's kind of second nature to me. But, you know, it is nice to uh, finally play Gears of War again with a controller it feels very smooth feels very good um but if i have any more information out on that part um about mouse and keyboard our controller guys i will be bringing it to the channel hopefully that helped you guys um try them both out if you have access to gears of war guys if you have access to gears of war on the pc remember if you guys got an xbox you got game pass and you got a pc 
go ahead download uh you know transfer your game pass over to the pc download gears of war and try it for yourself because i can sit here and tell you that oh yeah this is better than this this is better than that blah blah blah, blah. but guess what you might try gears of war 4 on the mouse and keyboard and you might tell, say, wow, this is miles better than controller. Or it might be ver vice versa, where you might try it on a mouse and keyboard and you'd be like, no, this is terrible. Why would anybody want to play it like this? So try it for yourself, guys, because I'm only one person and I can't really voice my opinion for everybody. But I hope that helped you out, guys. I'm sorry I kind of rambled on there. Um, but guys, remember... Download the beta today. It is the 17th, so you should be able to download the Gears of War or Gears 5. I gotta stop saying Gears of War. You gotta, you gotta download the Gears 5 beta tech test today, and then you'll be able to play it Friday. Now, another thing, guys, about the, uh, the tech test is that you cannot start playing it today, so make sure you understand that it doesn't go live till Friday. So we're almost there. Two more days, guys. Guys, two more days. Anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, it's your boy, Captain Beers. I hope you enjoy the video. Stay positive. Peace out.